All right, everyone. So Joel Embiid threw some shots at the Boston Celtics before game four of the NBA Finals. Here's what he had to say. This could be the beginning of a dynasty of winning multiple championships for the Boston Celtics. I don't think so. Not with the new CBA. And then you, got, you also got to understand the whole, the whole East was kind of hurt this year, huh? myself included. So you're saying you're so, coming next year. I mean, that's a pretty oh, good chance. And you will Boston. Joel Embiid is a fantastic player. There's no question about it. You know, MVPs. I mean, he's close, if not the best center, certainly the second best center in the NBA. But Joel has to understand that his playoff performances do not lead to giving any credence to this type of talk. Because, you know, look, look, we want him to be healthy, but he can't stay healthy. And it seems like he's got something wrong with him every single year in the playoffs. And he's come up short every almost every year here in the playoffs. You know, he's gotten it close, but the Celtics are a team that's beat him multiple times. And it's just, I don't know, I love the rivalry. I, I, I want to see more of this from players. You know, not everybody just always being buddy-buddy, but they're being a little crap talk. And he did go on to say, you know, I hate Boston and all of that. And that's fine. You know, we get it. But to use the excuse people were injured with this Celtics team when they dominated the NBA for the entirety of the season – they're dominating every series they've been in. And, you know, now they're playing a team out West and they're still dominating them. It just seemed, you know, it just is like, okay, yeah, we know what this is, right? But mark these games on your calendar next year. We'll see. Will Joel back up what he's saying or it's going to be more of the same, which is he's either injured or he comes up short or he has a great game, but they just can't get over the hump. We will see.